Hello guys, this is GeeseBrush16, welcome back to Let's Play Corvette. Well today, we're going to start the special modes. So basically, special modes, we got these special challenges here, and I believe we drive a specific car. We have Hot Lap Challenge, Custom Vet Challenge, Circuit Endurance, Route 66 Checkpoint, and Mother Road Endurance, but I do have a plan on how to unlock that. And once we get to it, I'll do it. But for right now, we're just going to get through these series of races before I worry about Mother Road Endurance. Anyways, guys, first up, we got Hot Lap Challenge. So we got a bunch of these ra races here. And we got to finish the race within the time limit to, un to unlock the next race. So that's why all these races are here. So so whatever lap record is right there, we have to beat that within the time limit. So that's what that is. I believe we have a specific Corvette we're going to be driving. Yeah, you only they'll give you a specific Corvette to drive. And we're going to drive the 1962 Corvette. And I drove this color last time. I'm doing the C1. And we're going to do the Honduras Maroon. So, so yes, yeah, we must finish the race within the time limit to unlock the next race. And the lap record is 1 minute 8 seconds. So, uh, let's see what track it was. Oh, Rockbridge Falls West. That's what the track is. So, so yeah. And we have five series of races here we got to do. Well. All right, here we go. So yeah, so now this, now for the first part right here, this is going to be a warm-up lap for the first lap. And then once we cross the finish line again, it will actually count. So this lap will not count. It's considered a warm-up lap. I really do like that because it actually lets you feel the track. It actually gives you a feel of the track, so. So how good you can take the turns and stuff. And see basically how good you what corners you need to improve on. And so far we're not doing too good right now, but again this is just a warm-up lap just to give us some practice. Now I do remember this part right here, you can stay you'll stay in the gas for most of it. Yeah. So yeah, we're really gonna have to work up on the speed here, so. Alright, so this is why it all counts, dude, right here. So yes, yeah, so I'm really gonna have to improve here. So yes, on the time lap, you cannot afford any screw-ups. Just drive the track like you don't even want to lap, and remember the corners that you need to work on. At that corner right there, that's going to definitely cost me right there. Okay, I did a little bit better that time. It was like 23 seconds at that point, so I did a lot better this time, so... <clears throat> Dang it. This is definitely going to cost me right here because we're not even close to the finish line yet. 37 seconds. Alright, 25 seconds left. I don't know guys. I don't know. 20 seconds. Okay, 10 seconds. That did it right there. I think that's going to be the end of it. Yep, it's over. Well, let me not. Ah, oh, I screwed up the turn. Dang it. If I didn't screw up the last turn, I might have. I might have. Might have made it. But no. I think I could have made it, actually. If it wasn't for that final corner right there. But barely, though. It would have been probably close to the end, so. Well, I said I want to try it again, so I'll be right back, guys.
Alrighty, guys, there we go. Uh, it only took me one more attempt, but I actually passed it after this is the first unrecorded attempt. I guess you could say. Um, so, yeah, you just gotta slow down in the turns, the sharp turns, because if you hit the wall, go off course, it's pretty much gonna be done, be a done deal, so. So, yeah, uh, if I'm like, let's go on to the next race here. Okay, so we got a High Plains Air Base. And the target time is uh, 1 minute 43 seconds. Okay, so we got a different Corvette this time. 63 convertible. Uh, I like the split window, so I'm going to drive the coupe. Um, let's see. We'll drive the Daytona Blue. I really like the Daytona Blue on it. And yeah, let's get started. Alright, well, guys, here we go. Again, as usual, we'll get the warm-up lap to get us a good feel of the track, get some good speed up for the money lap. Well, I'll call it the money lap, so. So yeah, let's get a good feel of the track and the good feel of the car, too, so. This is what this is here. Okay, I want to work better on the turns here, so I seem to remember where my uh, rough spark spots are. At which point's the track where I need to brake and where I just need to let off the gas. Seven. Okay, we got a lot more time this time. We got a minute forty-six. So, I don't know what that yellow stopwatch is up there for. I think that's either the record time of the uh, of the creators of this game. I'm guessing. I don't know. But yeah. Again, this is just a warm-up lap, just to give us some good feel of the Corvette here. Oh yeah, this turn right here. Well, we're not driving a high power Corvette, this is just a 60's uh, Corvette here. Alright, money lap time, guys, here we go. Let's not screw up, because this is time. Dang it! Alrighty. Come on, baby! Get on the track! I can't afford to get out in the, the dirt and grass and stuff. Dang it! Okay, that's probably going to be the end right there. Point and doubt it. Point and friggin' doubt it. Now it so Yeah. Okay, now this part right here is where I can make up some good time right here because some of these places you probably won't have to slow down at, so not right there you would. Just Barely off the gas, but you, but you're back on the gas once you uh, see straight away. Okay, I got her floored right here. I got 20 seconds. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, those screw ups there at the beginning was what cost me right there. Yeah, that one, that one's going to be a little bit pain in the butt to try to do here, so. Um, I'm actually going to cut here for a little bit, but I'm actually going to keep my next attempt in, so. So, yeah. Well, actually, I'm going to cut until after I get done with the warm-up lap, and after I get done with the warm-up lap, I'm actually going to meet you guys until I get to my timed lap, so. 
We're out back. Okay, guys, here we go for the hot lap. Um, let's see what we can do here. Okay, start slowing down right up here. And then uh, once you get on pavement, when we get back on the asphalt, um, just uh, start going. So down right here, too. You just got to keep the speed up and make sure you do not hit the walls. That's what you can do. Oh, man. That turn right there has been giving me trouble. I mean, like, giving me trouble big time. Ah, dang it. Yeah, I screwed up that turn there. I didn't screw it up on the hot lap. On the warm up lap, I mean, but. Yeah. Okay, doing a little bit better this time. Okay, right here is the part right here you can actually accelerate and stay in the gas until you get to another point here. Right there, when you get to the tanks is when you should start letting off the gas and then once you get up to the tank is when you should stay on it. I think I just fell this again. Yep, it's... Oh my god, I can't believe I failed it. Yep. Wow, this is actually going to be a tough one. Because I always fell right in that point right there. So yeah, guys, I'm going to definitely cut and I'll actually meet you guys until I get to my successful attempt. So, be right back. Okay, here we go for the hot lap again. I lost a tenth. Well, I'll check what a tenth this is. Seven or eight, I don't know. Okay, well, that's not going to do anything. Hopefully, it doesn't screw me over. I'm going to go out in this lane right out here. Take the turn. I, might, I don't know if that was a good turn or not. Alright, uh, let's see. Seven seconds. Uh, I guess I'm doing all right. By hitting those walls right there, might screw me over. We'll see. Just trying to do the best I can. This is starting to get a little bit frustrating here. I shed some time off. I don't know. We'll see what happens here. Will I actually make it this time? We'll see. I'm getting a little bit better though, but not by much. When you get close to those tanks right there, you need to let off the gas, but then get right back on it as soon as you get away from them. Oh my god, may I actually do it this time? Oh my god, right there's the finish line. Yes! Oh my god, finally made it. Woohoo! I'm happy as a clown right there, boys. So yeah, basically, you just got to make sure you don't break. No breaking. Just, if you need to blow out the gas, you can. And in some turns, you may need to go out wide so you can actually make the turn. Like at the beginning. But there's a point we can stay in the gas. But when you get to the tank, when you get close to the tank, let off the gas. And you get right back in the gas. And then just drive the course as you normally would. But do not touch the brakes. No braking. No brakes for this one. So there we go. Got done with that. Actually, hang on just one moment. Let me actually save this so I don't have to go through that crap again. Okay, hang on just one moment, guys. I'm going to save, and I'll meet, and yeah. Okay, so next we're going to the Angel Hills track, and the time is 57 seconds for this one. And the Corvette, we're driving the 19, ah, oh, 72. Oh, yes, this is good. This is good. This is ER1. So, yeah, driving my stepdad's Corvette. 
Going to go with the usual Elkhart Green ZR1. I don't know if his was a ZR1 or not. Let me look at the info. Okay. But anyways, okay, so we're going to go to Angel Hills Archonet West. We're down the 72 Corvette ZR1. Now, I don't know if my stepdad was a ZR1 or not, but... <laughs> so hopefully, I'm feeling a little bit confident here, but I don't know what to expect here, so... So yeah, I'm just going to wait for this thing to load. Alright, and here we go. Okay, so here we go. So, one, oh, oh, this course here. So, let's see how good. It's got to remember the turns here. Getting the feel for this car. Dang it. There's something with that turn right there. Oh, wow, this thing's loose. I mean, loose big time. But I like it. See, handle's pretty good. I really like it when the rear end's kind of swinging out there. Okay, good. This is just only the one up lap, guys, so don't panic. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Let's get this. Let's get ready. Here we go. Alright, we got this turn coming up here. Slid her in there. Let's gotta be careful here not to screw up too much. And not lose control of this car. That turn right there is going to be the biggie. I have a feeling. Okay, I did not take the turn like I wanted to. This could be the end right here, guys. Yep. Yeah. And after that, it's done. Well, I'm going to have to do some more practice here, so hang on for just a moment, guys. Alright. Tip number two. Please, hopefully, this will work. And then I'll take the turn like I wanted to. That set some time off, though, so... That was a lot better than the last one. It was like 14 seconds when I came here the first time. On the last attempt. I hit the wall a little bit, but I think we should still be good, maybe. I don't know. We've got 30 seconds. I'm staying in the gas. I'm not letting off the gas or nothing. I'm not letting up the gas for nothing. Okay, come on, baby. Uh, this is going to be close. Come on. Yes. Woo. Barely made it. I only had a second left on the clock, but I made it. Thank God. I wasn't sure about that, but... But anyways, guys, I think that 72 ZR1... I actually stayed in the gas and let the rear end slide out. I hit the wall somewhat but on some of the turns, but I stayed in the gas. You really have to let off the gas in that in that and that's in that car. So I did pretty good about there. Barely made it though, so that's all that matters. Okay, we're going back to the coast rock mine. <laughs> oh my god. That track has to be the track in the Corvette mode. So and we have the nineteen ninety. Ooh. Doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad at all. I don't like the rear end though. Let's see here. There's charcoal metallic, bright red, dark red metallic. 
Let's see what would be a good car right here. Comp oh, this is a ZR1 right here. It's a Quasar Blue, Polo Green, and of course Black. Let's see. The Charcoal Metallic. The red looks good. That dark red metallic's alright. Steel Blue. Competition Yellow. <laughs> I want the charcoal metallic colors on it, so. Okay, so Ghost Rock Mine, the time to beat is 1 minute 3 seconds, so. This is what this one is. The time to beat here. Okay, here we go, guys. I think I did pretty good here last time with the 84. My did here with the 84. I'm not talking about the race I have at the 50th anniversary. The ZR1s, they say they seem like they handle a lot better than like those normal counterparts, I guess. I do like the 1990 though. That doesn't look that bad. The rear end, eh, looks okay, I guess. Okay, so just doing good so far, I guess. I don't know. That turn right there is going to be a doozy, though. I'll have to watch out for it when we come through here again. Oh, God. That is going to be trouble right there. Let's got to remember that whenever we come through here during the hot lap. Again, this is why I like the warm up flowers. They give you some time to practice, you know. Practice gives you some good feel of the car and the, how good the turns you can, how good you can take the turns. All right, here we go. This is what's all going to count right here. Dang it! Come on, baby. 45 seconds. Ah, it's a turn. Okay, this is the turn I remember right up here. Okay, good. I did not clip the wall like I did when I came here during the warm up. I hit the wall there. Finish line coming up. Will I make it? Three, two, one. Oh, man. First try. Oh my god, I, you know, I didn't think I was going to make it right there, but, <laughs> yes, finally I get to a time, to one of these races, I pass it on the first try. Oh yeah, baby. The question is, let's see how good we can do the last one, because we got one more left. We're going to City Heights, and we're going to be driving the 50th anniversary. <laughs> we just drove this car in the... This is an arcade race, so. Well, let's see what we can do here. Okay, time to beat is 1 minute 8 seconds. Once we get done with this, we'll be done with the hot lap challenges. Alright, here we go. Oh, this track right here. If I remember last time, the 50th anniversary Corvette was bad luck for me. But we'll see how good we can do on the City Heights. It should be a good handling car here, so so one more pull out as usual. Just gotta remember the turns right here. But this car, can, I mean, the car handles all right. Talk about the 50th anniversary Corvette. Stay in a second there for a while. It's 
Some of these, this car can take the turn pretty good, I have to say. Stay on the gas, so. Alright, back on the speedway here. To the chair from the fans. Cheer me on as I begin the hot lap. Alright, here we go. Let's not screw around with this one. Hot lap time in City Heights. Let's get started. That's gonna be costly. Dang it. I ran out to the wall right there, actually. Alrighty. I'm not going to be talking too much. I'm going to be focusing on this right here. Hello, that turn right there. We're about coming out of the home stretch, though. 25 seconds left. Oh, that's definitely going to cost me right there. But I can stay in, the, still stay in the gas right here. Okay, 14 seconds. Can I do it here? I don't think it's going to happen. Yep, yeah, that's it. It's done. Yeah, probably that last corner right there right, kind of screwed me over. So, Well, no two for two going for the first tries here. So, so yeah, guys, you know the drill. I'm going to cut to my hot lap, my successful hot lap. All right, here we go. Let's try this again here. Then I take the turn perfect I wanted it to, but eh. I guess that'll do. Remember the guardrails coming up here, staying in the gas most of the time. I'm gonna be focusing on this, so I won't be talking as much. Now that turn right there you will have to slow down, but this one coming up here, you're gonna stay stay in the gas, but you should be all right. Well, oh, that's gonna cost me a little bit though. Twenty-five seconds. All right, I did not hit the wall that time. Twenty seconds. Let's see if I'm gonna be able to do this, guys. It's gonna be close again. Okay, I think I got this, maybe. And watch, I'm not going to make... Oh, wait, wait. No, I, I think I got this. I think I got this. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Got it. Yes. <laughs> Took me about... This is, I say, tip number four. Yeah, I did have some trouble with it, but it's just where I end up screwing up in some of the turns, so... During the warm-up, so... So yeah, um, so yeah, that is the hot lap hot hot lap challenges, the hot lap challenge, whatever it's called. There we go. Now we get to look at all the Corvettes we drove during the hot lap challenges, which is pretty cool. There's the '72. There's the '62. That was the '63. There's the '1990, and of course there's the 2003 50th anniversary. So yeah. And you've completed the hot lap challenge mode. And that is it, guys. Um, that will do it for hot lap challenge. I'll see you guys next weekend for custom vet challenge and circuit endurance. So, today, guys, this is Geese Quest 16 signing out. Later.